What is up guys, using A here with tutorial number 57 over um, a really cool transition uh, where it keeps the flow going and uh, it adds a lot of creativity. Um, it's really hard to explain but the scope radio wipes in kind of but it looks super cool. So uh, I'll show you guys real quick. Well that's an example. I don't want to show you all of it because it's my it is an edit that I'm doing right now, and uh, I like it, and I want to keep it a surprise. So um, what I did was, if you can see, it's kind of like wiping this thing in, but it looks like water kind of, and it looks really cool. So uh, make a new composition, find a clip, and uh, I'm going to find the spot where he scopes in. And come on. Here we go. And we're almost... Right here, all right. Split, bring it to the end. And, um, <clears throat> all right. so uh, we're gonna make this a freeze frame. So, right click, go to time, and do freeze frame. And we're also gonna drag in the clip again and go maybe a sec, yeah, a second forward and find the same spot. So, you uh, that was really stupid of me to freeze frame, I could have duplicated it, but. Whatever. Just gonna find that same exact spot. All right here we go. So we have this part one second freeze frame, and then after we have the rest of the clip. And uh, so I'm gonna disable the audio first, and uh, I'm gonna look for a radial. Actually, before we even do that, um, click on the freeze frame, and then go to your ellipse tool, and then we're gonna click on the very top of the scope. Hold we'll shift and click at the top. Make sure you're holding shift by the way so it does like a perfect circle. And then uh, let go when, uh, when you like match the circle. So when this thing gets to the bottom, I'm gonna redo it just so I can explain it better. You hold shift and you click at the top of the scope then you bring your cursor to the bottom of the scope so it'll make an exact, it'll make pretty much your scope Mask, and then what you're just gonna want to do is, if on a Mac, you're just gonna, with your mask selected, you're just gonna command, click, and then just move it over. Try to match it up as best as you can. So that looks pretty good. And now, after the, we have the mask on, actually, I'm gonna mask. I'm gonna go to negative one for mask expansion, just to get rid of all the extra black that I had around the edges. Um, just trying to make the circle a little more perfect in case I have like a background like uh, if I had this in the background. Uh, I don't want these black things showing up. So I mean I can move it a little. It will be fine though. I don't want it to be. I mean, I'm not going to touch it up enough. Cause that'll take a long time. So, I'm fucking rambling again. Anyways, um, look up radio wipe and transition radio wipe. Just drag it on your freeze frame. And what we're gonna want to do is have it on 100 at the very beginning. Keyframe it. And go to one second and bring it to zero. So what it's doing is this radio wiping itself in. And what I like to do is I like to add 10 on the feather just so it looks cleaner. Uh, Cause it looks too sharp when it doesn't have any feather on it. And yeah, so uh, here's how I got the radial wipe on, but that's not the cool part. The cool part is turbulent displace. Now we're going to add that on under our radial wipe. And my settings are 50 to 500 to 10 on the, so 50 on the amount, 500 on the size, and 10 on the complexity. So what it looks like is that. Now looks really really weird. But what we're going to want to do is keyframe all that at the beginning, move to the end, and then bring it all to zero. And uh, the size will be at two because it's the lowest that the size will go at, and the complexity will be at one because that's the lowest that will go at. What it looks like is this. I'm going to quarter res. I'm going to preview it. Looks like that and looks really cool. Boom. Also, what I did was um, 
and the scale I had it on 100 went to the end I went to like 140 and then uh, on the clip I had it scale from like 140 20 frames forward to 100 so um, just adds a little extra stoof which looks cool boom and you can also add like layer adjustment layer look up like the levels oh I didn't mean to do that Went to the top Instagram going there all the way up here I'm gonna just make it brighter and I, wanna, I want a little red tint devilish red and then 20 I'm just gonna reset it so now what it looks like is this it's tense red You can also add a glow. You can add a ton of stuff to this. That's why I like it. Um, it's really creative. Uh, the possibilities of what you can do, what you can add to this, is pretty much endless. And uh, it's really quick and simple, but yet kind of advanced, if you know what I mean. Like thinking about it, coming up with it. So yeah, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial uh, over this really cool transition. Um, like how I I transitioned it from my intro to the clip. So yeah, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Leave a ton. I thank you for all the feedback that my last tutorial got, and uh, peace out.